Welcome to Power Yoga with Mark Gonzalez. Anyone, regardless of how little or as much yoga experience you have, can participate. Keep in mind though, these yoga-based workouts offer challenging postures that can be strenuous and may not be suitable for those looking for a gentler practice, especially if you are recovering from an injury. Please respect your limitations by modifying, skipping, or progressing any of the sequences to fit what your capabilities may be today. For those who are new, yoga is a remarkable tool anyone can use to refine and strengthen the body. But the physical aspects are just one of the many benefits a regular practice can offer. Yoga is also a tool to explore and develop our inner world as well. Every time we step on the mat, we get an opportunity to discover and reinvent ourselves by paying attention to our thoughts and emotions while we move and breathe. So know that as long as you're participating, the physical benefits will happen automatically. Let's experience more out of ourselves today in hopes that we can release our full potential. For today, I invite you to explore the other components of your practice and look to go beyond just the postures, sequences, and all the stretching. Explore using all the senses available to you and use what you discover to draw out and breathe life into the parts of yourself you'd like to expand and move to the forefront of your being. So take a moment to create a sacred space around you, making sure you're uninterrupted for the next hour or so. Yoga mat is set up, towel, water, and props nearby. Let's begin. We start by creating stillness inside, taking a moment to get familiar with what it means to show up and be fully present here on your mat, getting full attention not just with your body, but also with your mind, emotions, and spirit. Finding child's pose, sit back with your hips over your heels and reach the arms forward. Open your palms wide on your mat, lengthening from the base of the spine to the arms, extending all the way out to the fingertips. Relaxing the forehead to the mat, neck long and soft, start turning your gaze inward, bringing attention to your breath, feeling the rhythm coming in and out of the body. With almost no effort, deepen the inhale as your spine gets longer. Exhale, melt further into your mat. On your next inhale, curl the toes and lift your hips, taking downward facing dog. Ease into the pose, gently awakening the backs of the legs, hamstrings, calves, and also opening into the shoulders and forearms. Inhale to plank, gaze down at your fingertips. Exhale, sit back towards your heels, keep the knees off the mat for an active child's pose. Extend the legs and inhale back to plank, using one direct motion. Again, taking an active child, one motion, inhale back to plank. Exhale, lift the hips for downward facing dog. Open the chest and find length as you press up. Soften the knees a lot and start to walk your hands to the back of your mat in a forward fold. Press down with your feet and slowly roll up to standing. Reach your arms, finishing your exhale. Reach the left arm to the right for a side bend. Right arm relaxes by your side. Inhale back up to standing, then exhale, side bend to the left, right arm reaches over. Create a big arc from the outer right foot to the fingertips of the right hand as you lengthen that side. Inhale back to standing, exhale folding the upper body over to meet the toes, bend the knees, hands to the mat, crawl them forward to down dog. In down dog, look through your legs, learn to initiate your movements with your breath. Inhale high plank. Exhale your knees down and lower your chest, sliding forward to a mini cobra pose. Use your arms to gently lift the shoulders up and behind. Exhale, push back. Extend the arms in child's pose. When you're ready, lift to down dog. Become sensitive to what your body is communicating, what it needs, without responding, just listening and noticing the thoughts, emotions, and feelings that come up. Inhale, top of a push-up. From here, revisit active child's pose. Keep the knees off the mat, sitting back. Exhale to plank and bring your left knee to touch the left elbow. Press back and sit, active child's pose. Exhale, float to high plank, right knee to the right elbow. Extend the right leg back to plank. Exhale, sit back, active child's again. Inhale, press forward to plank, left knee, left elbow. Exhale, sit back. Let the movement become light and effortless as you hug the knee to the armpit. 
Each time you sit back, activate your abdominals and hug the belly in when creating plank without letting it sag down. After you even out both sides, come back to down dog. Bury the head between the upper arms with bent knees. Walk your hands back to your feet. Roll up to standing. Inhale the arms high above you. Palms pressed together for a different side bend. Exhale, lean right. Feel yourself lift up out of the low back. Inhale, shoulders, neck, and head back to the midline. Standing tall. Exhale, side bend left. Keep the lower arm extending out. Inhale to standing. Exhale, diving forward, fold at the waist. Relax and let the head become heavy. Walk your hands to down dog. Keeping the hips high, inhale, plank. Knees down, lower the shoulders to elbow height and pause. Modified low push-up. Inhale, shift your way forward, up to easy cobra pose. Exhale, unflip, round the spine and find child's pose. Inhale, come to down dog. Remember to move, doing what feels good and right for you. Come here whenever you need to rest. Let the practice be your own. Learn to take charge and ownership of your body, mind, emotions, and breath. Bend the knees, and as light as possible, float or step your feet to the top of the mat. Root down, inhale up to standing, and reach up. Standing back bend. Exhale, press the hips forward, shoulders back, draw the arms behind you. Inhale to a tall spine. Exhale, forward fold. Relax the arms and upper body to the earth. Bend the knees, take a big step back with the left, and lower the knee down. Low lunge. Extend the arms overhead. Exhale, hands down by your foot. Rest the chest on your thigh, hands to the hips, curl the left toes, and as you float the left knee, Press down with the right foot, peeling your chest off the thigh. Coming into high lunge. Straighten both legs briefly, core active. Exhale, lower the back knee so it barely touches the mat. Inhale up, find your center, and exhale, bend just the front knee. High lunge. Big exhale, hands down, step the left foot forward. Inhale, arms up for seated chair. Sit the hips back towards your heels, big toes and heels are touching. Exhale, hands to prayer in front of your sternum and twist to the left. Find one expansive breath, then release the twist, bowing forward. This time, step the right foot back, lower the right knee down, right hand next to the left foot, left arm reaches up for a low lunge twist. Extend right leg, right knee off the mat. Look up at the left hand and release both hands on the mat. Reach the left leg up behind you, three-legged down dog. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale, back, three-legged dog. This time, open the left hip, putting your belly button to the side. Exhale, hug the knee in. The primary focus here is to use your abdominals to draw the knee in. Inhale, three-legged dog. Square the hips to the mat, last time. Inhale, left knee in through the midline. Exhale, three-legged dog. Open the hip again, then open up deeper as you bend the top leg. Create a nice open arc from the left wrist to the left heel. Exhale, return everything back to down dog. Inhale to plank, knees down. Bend the elbow slowly lower. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Expand the front of the body. Exhale to child's. Arms lengthen forward, muscles of the arms, shoulders, upper, middle, and lower back opening. Remember to use your breath to initiate the transitions from pose to pose. Get lost in the movement until you feel completely in sync with everything happening around you. On your next inhale, come to down dog. With arms extended, knees bent slightly, float as quietly as you can to the top of your mat. Plant the feet and fold. Elongate the neck. Roll up to standing, stack yourself up as you reach the arms up. Hands back to center, exhale, fold. Upper body melting down. Knees soft, 
Step the right leg back, finding low lunge. Back knee down, inhale, reach up. Aligning the hips, shoulders, and fingers on top of each other. Exhale your hips to lean forward. Now bow forward to rest your chest on your thigh. Find balance as your hands touch your hips. Curl the toes and lift the back knee up. Left knee stays bent. Use the strength in your core and low back to lift up. High lunge. Right heel off the mat. Strain the left leg. Lower the back knee to hover above the mat. Exhale, lift, extend the legs. Bend just the front knee back to high lunge. Exhale, lower the hands to the mat. Right foot steps forward, seated chair. Sit back with your arms lifting up, making sure your waist back towards the heels here. Bring your palms together. Exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow outside the right knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, find a deeper twist. Before you release, look down first, then untwist. Step the left foot behind, low lunge, lower the knee, and twist as you reach the right arm up. Hips pressing forward. Progress this by extending the left leg. Back knee floats off the mat. Right knee is bent. Lower the hips deeper towards the mat. Exhale the right hand down. Right leg sweeps back, three-legged dog. Right leg really high. Exhale the right knee into your chin. Shoulders above the wrist. Inhale, lift the right leg back. Open the right hip here, belly button pointing to the right. Release, square the hips to the mat. Exhale the knee in towards your forehead. Inhale, press to three-legged dog. Open the hip again and lift the left heel higher off the mat. Exhale, hug the right knee in and lift it up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Open the hip. This time, arc the upper leg over by bending the knee, trying to reach the right heel towards your left shoulder. Release, close the hip, return the right foot down for down dog. Inhale to plank. Lower your knees, chest and chin. Slowly, with control, open up the throat as your chest slides forward and lifts up into cobra pose. Exhale the forehead down, extend the arms and come back to child's pose. Head relaxes in between your arms. Start to become aware of the thoughts and feelings you encounter during your practice, especially the subtle ones. Be confident in trusting that inner wisdom that is there in every moment. On your next inhale, curl the toes, moving on to down dog. With hips high, relax the forearms to the mat for dolphin. Gently press the elbows forward, guiding your head between the arms. Relax the heels down and breathe deep. Inhale, lower your hips to dolphin plank. Shoulders directly above the elbows, engage your core. Hips are aligned with the rest of the torso and legs. And from here, maintain a strong plank and make small circular motions with your shoulders, four times in each direction. Here, we are strengthening the stabilization muscles of the shoulders and toning the core, thighs, and arms. Once you complete each direction, lift your hips by walking your feet forward back into dolphin. Use the strength in your arms to press your elbows up to down dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward and lower the back knee down. Arms extend above for low lunge. Exhale, hands down, toes curled behind you. Sit towards your left heel for a half split, bowing over a straight right leg. Keep the hip square by pressing the right hip back, left hip forward. Stay here or progress on. Playing with balance, walk your hands back to your left foot, sitting on your left heel. Lift both knees next to each other off the mat. Level two and three, try bringing your hands in front in prayer position. Keep lifting for balance. Release wherever you are, stepping the right foot forward, low lunge, arms reaching high. Exhale, hands to prayer, twisting low lunge. Use an exhalation to find a deeper twist, taking your gaze over the right shoulder. Now keeping the twist, lift your back knee up by extending the leg behind you, twisting high lunge. Looking down for balance, keep the twist and step your left foot forward, prayer twisting seated chair. You can deepen the twist by opening your arms, 
Left elbow stays outside the right knee. Bring your hands back to prayer. Step the left foot back to a twisting high lunge. Stay here or extend the arms open. See if you can maintain balance as you look up at the sky. Coming out of the twist, look down and place both hands on the mat with the right knee bent. Legs in a strong lunge, bring your right hand to the hip. Stabilize and reach your left arm forward and long. Reach it away from the left heel. Big exhalation, lift the torso, rotate the left arm up and behind for warrior two. Left heel connects to the mat. Your right arm reaching forward. Now reach the left arm behind you for the right hip or pocket. Keep reaching and exhale your right arm up and back for a variation of reverse warrior. Left arm stays behind you. Inhale, pass through warrior two. Exhaling into side angle pose. Right elbow to the right knee. Either stay here or deepen the pose by reaching the right hand to touch the mat. For an additional challenge, extend the right arm to the side. Keep the right shoulder off the knee though. Maintain a steady breath as you sink the hips deeper into your lunge. Big inhale brings you back to warrior two. On the extending outward, expand the chest. Circle the arms up and behind, clasping the hands. Rotate to face the front of the mat. Legs in high lunge, release the back heel. Find length in your arms, fist away from the low back. Exhale, bow forward over the right thigh. Reaching your fist over your head. Shift your weight to the right foot and keeping the knee bent, step forward to the front. Find your balance and point the right foot to the back off the mat. Steady, with control, right foot steps back. Inhale the torso up, keeping the clasp for high lunge. Shoulders back, chest expanding, find length. Exhale back down over the left eye. Take a moment to find a steady gaze on the floor. Try to keep the clasp and lift yourself up, warrior three. Extend the left leg and float the right leg up. Belly button pointing down, making sure hips are square. Transitioning into half moon. Release the clasp. Reach the left hand to the earth or on a block, opening up to the right. Reach the right arm up to the sky, aligning the right shoulder above the left, right hip over the other. Challenge your balance by looking up at the right hand. Moving on to the next balance pose. Looking down, place both hands to the floor. Right foot stays lifted. Now bouncing on your left foot, use your right hand to guide the right knee up to standing. Use an exhale to bring the right knee out. If you can maintain balance in a tall spine, optional progression is available. Reaching for your right foot, extend the leg outward. Only proceed if you can keep a tall spine throughout. Crown of the head extending upward. Bring the right knee forward. Give it a gentle tug before we twist the torso. Left hand on the right knee, reaching the right arm back. From here, extend both arms front and back. Maybe the right leg reaches forward. Exhale to re-bend the right knee. Looking forward, step the right leg back. Bending the left knee to create warrior two. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Feeling a side bend. Inhale, back to warrior two. Straighten the left leg, preparing for triangle pose. Reach the left arm forward, tilting your pelvis, take the right hip further back. Exhale, left hand down lightly on your left shin, ankle, or use a block for support. Right arm extends up. Release the twist, taking revolved pyramid. Step the right foot forward, but off to the right so it's not directly behind the left. Right hand stays down, left hand rests on the hip. Guide the shoulders to rotate to the left as you look out to the side or upward to the sky. Maybe you're reaching the left arm up as you twist. Continue guiding the left hip back and right hip forward. Exhalation will help you move into a deeper twist. Look down to release the twist with both hands on the mat. Step your left foot back into plank. Feet side by side. Place your right hand underneath your chin. Rotate to the outer edge of your right foot side plank. Reach the left arm high, lifting your hips away from the mat. 
Keep your balance and place your left leg into tree pose. Foot is either above or below the right knee, never directly on it. Legs stay in tree position. Look down and come into plank. Left knee pointing out to the side. You can either stay here or try a push up. When your arms extend, release the left leg high, coming into three legged dog. Keep lifting and walk the hands to the right foot for standing splits. Keeping as little weight on your hands as possible, balancing on your right leg. Continue extending the left foot even higher. Here, taking one or both hands to the ankle of the standing leg. Release, walk your hands to the front. Three-legged dog. Lower the left leg down but cross your ankles. Left foot over the right. Inhale into plank. Slowly lower the torso down and hover, hugging the elbows in. Elbows to the ribs cage. Hold here. Now uncross your ankles and exhale, upward facing dog. Take your time to reconnect and find stillness in the body and mind. Inhale, lower the torso and press back, child's pose as you exhale. Pull yourself in, connecting to your center, strong and still. Awaken and lift your center, come up to downward facing dog. Again, gently lower the elbows to the mat for dolphin. Feel the shoulders open and widening. Inhale, lower your hips to dolphin plank. With your torso steady, shift your weight to the right side, reach the left arm forward. Then alternate, weight to the left, right arm reaches. Repeat four times each side, working the stabilization muscles in the shoulders and hips. Abs are really active as you shift side to side. See if you can prevent the hips from rotating, thighs pressing up, heels back. When you're done, Come back to dolphin plank. Forearms back down, start to walk the feet in, hips lift up to dolphin. Open your palms to the mat. Now pressing down, extending the arms to down dog. Use an exhale to step the left foot forward. Right knee relaxes down, low lunge, arms reaching high. Exhale, hands down next to the left foot. Right toes curled under, sit the hips back over to the right heel, extending the front leg in front. Breathe deep, relaxing the belly on the thigh. Spine is long, guide the left hip back, right hip forward. Stay here or release so you can walk your hands near your right foot. Allow the right knee to lift off the mat, right thigh parallel to the ground. Fingertips are there for balance, left leg extends and floats up. Further challenge your balance by bringing the right thumb to the chest, or both hands, in prayer position. Create stillness as you lift. Release the right heel down, hands find the mat, shifting your weight forward into low lunge. Check to make sure the left knee doesn't bend past the toes as you press the hips forward. Exhale, palms to the chest, prayer twisting and low lunge. Bring your right elbow above or outside the left knee. Stay lifted as you extend the back leg. Elevate the right knee off the mat. Keeping the twist, look down and step forward. Big toes and inner thighs touching, prayer twisting seated chair. Now consider deepening the twist by extending the arms, right elbow outside the knee. Both arms open, looking up to the left hand if possible. Hands back to prayer, look down, step the right foot, reach it long behind you. After you find stillness in your lower body, keep exploring the rotation in the torso, from the belly up to the crown of your head. Consider a deeper twist by opening up the arms. Exhale, release the twist, both hands to the mat, either side of the front foot, chest over the left thigh, Take your left hand on the hip and reach the right arm forward. Neck long. Right leg extended, heel pressing back. Feel the strong line connecting your right fingertips and right heel. Use a big inhale to circle the right arm up and over for warrior two. Reaching the left arm forward, adjust your stance 
as you sink the hips deeper into the mat. Right arm wraps behind you, reaching for the left hip or pocket. Exhale to reverse warrior, left arm up and back. Deepen the left knee bend. Expand the left side of your torso, creating space between the ribs. Inhale, shoulders above the hips, passing through warrior two. Exhale, left elbow rests on the left knee. Side angle pose. Right arm stays wrapped across your low back. Use the reach behind to open the right shoulder back. Deepen the pose by taking the left hand to the floor. If you're looking for more, stabilize the torso and reach the left arm out to the side, palm up, hovering the left shoulder off the knee. Inhale, the torso lifts back up to warrior two. Arms are reaching away opposite direction, front and back. Circle the arms up and clasp them behind, lifting the fist away from the low back. Expand the chest using a deep inhale. Now turn the torso to the front, high lunge, back heel comes off the mat. Exhale, melt the upper body forward. Continue extending the arms to lift the fist overhead. Left knee stays bent. Step the right foot forward, hugging the midline with your inner thighs and knees together. Now lift the left foot up. Eyes remain down to the floor for balance. Take a big step back with the left. When you catch your balance, inhale to lift the torso up for high lunge. Fingers are still interlaced behind you. Pause for a moment. Find stillness as you inhale the spine even taller. Keep the length, exhale, bow forward, balancing on your right foot. Use a gentle push off the right toes up into warrior three. Arms active, hands clasped above your low back. Remember, keep your hips squared to the mat and hug into your midline. Staying lifted, release the clasp coming into half moon. Placing your right hand on the mat underneath you. Open up to the left side as you reach the left arm up. Use the muscles in the outer left hip to guide the leg higher from the glute outward. Even extension throughout all four limbs. Now play with it. See if you can look up at your left hand. Look down and release. Bend the left knee in beside the right. Using your left hand on the shin, inhale as you lift the knee up to standing. Keep the core turned on and stay above your center before taking the left knee out. Your right arm extends the opposite way for balance. Remain steady here or clasp the inside arch of your foot and extend the leg out. It's okay to back off if you feel yourself compromising a tall spine. Shoulders relax down the back. From wherever you are, slowly guide the left knee in front of you. Make sure the standing leg is steady before using both hands to gently lift the knee briefly. Rotate with an exhale. Left arm reaches behind, twisting. Keep lifting the left knee. Right arm forward. Explore an additional challenge by lengthening the left leg forward. Even more challenging, take your gaze away from the right hand to the left behind you. Now before releasing, look forward and re-bend the left knee. Inhale. Step the left foot back and bend the right leg for warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Sliding your left hand further down the outer left thigh or calf. Inhale, lift up to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, triangle pose. Reaching forward, tilt the pelvis and hinge at the right hip. Right hand comes down, left arm up. Create support underneath you using tension created by pressing both feet away from each other. Looking down, release both hands and step the left foot forward slightly to square both hips. Left hand on the ankle, shin or block, right hand to the hip. Revolving pyramid. Exhale, twisting to the right from the base of the spine up through the top of the head. Maybe reaching the right arm up. The go to twist, hands down, step back to plank. Shoulders above the wrists, feet together. Flowing into side plank, left hand finds the center of your mat. Heels rotate to the left and reach the right arm up as you open the chest to the right. Press the left hand down, assisting the hips higher.
Right leg bends into tree, pointing the knee up. Now look down, hands find the mat in plank. Right knee hovers over to the right, find strength here and stay, or take a push up. Take your time, and when you extend your arms, lift the right leg high for three legged dog. Relax the head and look back at your standing foot. Right leg really high. Now walk your hands to the back for standing splits. Working on hinging the torso further forward, forehead closer to the standing shin. Play with your balance. One or both hands to the ankle. Lift the right leg once more. And release. Walk your hands forward to three-legged dog. Now cross your ankles, lowering the right foot behind the left. Inhale to plank. Exhale slowly, lower down and pause. Hug the elbows in and tuck the chin to lengthen the neck. Keep the core engaged, your whole palm pressing down evenly on the mat. Upper body stays hovering, uncross the ankles and exhale, release the hips down, upward facing dog. Exhale, gently lower the belly, chest and forward, face down to the mat and relax. Stay present. You'll know when you're in the moment because everything feels new and spontaneous. That's how you know your movements are true and authentic. So look for spontaneity as you move. Here in prone position, reach the arms back, either clasping the arms or holding on to two ends of the hand towel. Inhale, peel your chest off the mat and reach the fist up towards your heels. Here in locust pose, relax the shoulders back, expand through the chest, chin tucks as you gaze down at the mat. The lift comes from the upper and mid back. Even the glutes and hamstrings are active here. A few more breaths, this time lifting the feet and knees off the mat. Exhale, release. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and guide yourself back to child's pose. Feel the length and alleviate any tension or pressure off your low back.